channel. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial. I say tutorial, I'll use that term loosely. I'm going to change the STC and the grain father, which is here, to an STC 1000 super brain lack of a better better term for that. It's uh, the STC 1000 OBBSC uh, programmable uh, for mash steps, um, hop alarms, so on and so forth. There's a quick list of the stuff you can do with it. Just pause it. And uh, so without further ado, let's take you through the steps. Just This is basically just to show you how simple it really is. It's really easy. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so first of all, we need to take the uh, STC 200 out of the casing. There is four screws here, so one, two, three, four, take them out and then we shall take it from there. I don't have to tell you but I will just in case. You know, I'm not a professional electrician or anything like that. Uh, but make sure you're not plugged into the mains when doing this. Don't want any nasty surprises. away just undo one so you don't really need to take this one all the way out just enough to move it aside so we can take that away and just make the job easier okay so in there is all it is, it's all these wires. Yeah, that's the power, main power cable. Uh, these are to the switches. Um, that's it. So, if you're going to take these out, just remember where they go, uh, mark them with something uh, one, two, three. So, you go one, two, three, or, or, or similar whatever takes your fancy so the only I did foresee this but the only complication I foresee is I've got to take these orange pieces off Can you see them there and I've got sausages for fingers so we're going to try um, should just in theory just slide out which it does oops let's come out of that okay so what we've got here let's turn that around is uh, a diagram it's very simple uh, with the STC 200 and the 1000, obviously it's got a, a cooling facility which we're not going to be using, but also the power supply is on opposite sides. Okay, so it's a case of just swapping the wires over, in theory. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the power and I'm going to take out the sensor as well. I'll tell you why in a little minute. So I'm going to pull that down out of the way. Now, the load obviously is the heater. So, we're going to take this off. The little back cover here, yeah? we're just going to take that off because we don't need that. Yeah. Okay, so on this one, power supply goes this side, the load goes this side, so the heating goes in there. So, that's what we want to change. So, we're going to open them up. Basically, just put them in the same order they came out. Lose that one. That's that bit then. Now the power obviously has to go to the other side. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the wires are long enough to do that. So first of all, let's open them up. Go to the lounge, please. So now we need to uh, uh, consult the diagram because I can't remember which way goes where. And we have. The live wire. The sausage fingers in effect. So that one goes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
The only real difficulty is, of course, it's such a small space to manoeuvre anything. But you just need to take your time. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to disconnect one of these here, which is the neutral. I'm going to pull that out, just like that, just so I can make this a bit more manoeuvrable. Let's do that. That obviously goes into port two. And we'll close that up. this blue one here that's the one I pulled out to maneuver it up and then pulled it back in see all the connections are made for you so it is a case of just swapping wires around uh, and getting them in there and that ladies and gentlemen is it you know that's the STC 1000 in the grandfather so that's my new brain um, what I'm going to do now is get these in just to hold it in place Sausage fingers, so that's one. Just push that up. Two. And that's it. Test it's working. And there we go. On it is. Okay, it's going randomly like that because there's no sensor probe plugged in. I'm hoping anyway. So, of course, we'll connect that up and run a full test now. What I am doing. Reason I'm doing it is the, the sensor probe is very, very short. Yeah, that's it, that's all we've got. I need it a little bit longer because my control unit is no longer attached to the grain father, so I'm going to pull that off. Jesus. Yeah. And basically, we've got these. We need to connect them. Okay. Uh, what I've got here is the cabling that came with the STC 1000, so that's its probe, which is super long. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this one to the STC 1000. Should have done it first, really. Where's the sun spot? There it is. Typical. Okay. The complication, complication. I should have done it before, but never mind. Okay, so I'm going to put this through the hole that the, the original sensor came through. Pop. 
So that's in place. That. So we've got this long probe now. But the problem I've got here is I want this attached to this. So we're not going to cut this. Um, but we are going to cut this one. Now I need to go and get some. Or something. Well, I'll just use this knife. So, this one, we're just going to basically cut that off. And then, we're going to peel this back. This is. So that's the uh, thought that's connected to the STC. I have no idea this is going to work, by the way, so. Pff, lounge, now! Exposed wires to that. And I'm going to say to this. So it's got these little efforts on them. I could solder to those. But, uh, I'm not going to. And because I want to get a flush finish, I'm going to probably hide the seam best I can. So we'll split that. And then we'll expose those, tidy that up. As you can see, I'm not a trained professional. It's a bloody kitchen knife. Of people bloody. What bloody hell's he doing? Idiot. Right, so, what we want to do is expose the wire in here and here okay. and next to get some of these and this is where Two now, so we're going to put that in there. Like so. Where's the other? Okay, so let's just separate that a little more. So, right, this is uh, the connections I make. Make an L shape in both and pull like so. I'll wrap that one round like so. Same on that side, wrap it round. Yeah. Oh, put the 
friction on. And then what we need to do is um, This morning, just want to melt that to shrink it. And then, what I want to do next is Okay, and that's basically it. It's not as neat as I'd have liked it, but it'll do the job. Excellent. So now I've got a long uh, probe. SDC is changed out. Yes. Uh, Saw this through now, so we can put the back back on. so simple, two screwdrivers and a knife, that's all it took. There it is, let's try it again, turn that off. And there we go, it's working. Days. Not entirely sure it's 24 degrees in here, but let's see what that settles out at, and we've got to run a test on it, and then but that'll be in another video. Right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, it's just how simple it is to change it over. Really easy straightforward just remember to swap a power and the load over so it's correct and the rest as they say is history so I've got to run a test on this now see if the temperature probe is working correctly I might have to rethink it I don't know if that's what I've done is correct um, only time will tell right guys like, subscribe and all that jazz. I'll see you on the next one.